Hi guys! Hey! Welcome back to another channel video. Welcome back to another channel. <laughs> what? Guys, it's currently past midnight. It's it's loopy hour. It's loopy <laughs> hour! Pour me up! <laughs> Pour me some of that loopy juice. You don't want a monster? I'll take a sip. Since you're begging and pleading. Do you care about for your straw? Okay. I'm about to tell you my lip gloss is all over the straw, so I was about to warn you. Hmm. I don't want to wake up too much. And just a little bit. Let me tell y'all, while she figures that out, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Some about today. We saw the Barbie movie today. Yesterday went to this um yesterday went to this restaurant that had a bunch of uh, pink food for the Barbie movie. So I ate pink hummus, pink lattes, pink rose with glitter in it, pink what else? Everything was fucking pink. Everyone was dressed in pink. It was kind of cute, kind of overrated. Did they, did, was it was it too much money spent for those things? 150,000%. But did I spend that money? 150,000%. Why? I'm a baby. <laughs> I'm a baby doll. That's what I have to do. So then today we went and watched the Barbie movie. It was pretty good. I liked it. I liked it. I was not what I, what I was expecting at all. I was expecting just shits and giggles, yeah. like the Barbie movie cartoons before, like, what I was showing you, Raquel and shit like that, I was expecting like that. But it got so real so quick. It was they were talking about misogyny, fascism. Like they was just going in and, and I don't the, the movie is rated PG thirteen. I really don't think that's for children. And there was children in there. And the children were just glazing over. <laughs> they were not, they were not interested attention. at all. Yeah, and all the fucking moms are like locked in. It's cause it was for the moms. It's for the moms. This movie was for the moms. It was not for the children. But it was a really good fucking movie. Um, is there anything else you want to say about that? Um, no. Let me keep it really light and really positive. I'm just going to shut up. I thought you were going to talk about... The bitches who was taking pictures of me? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> me? Me literally 15 seconds ago? I'm just going to keep it really light. I'm just going to shut up. As soon as he said, I thought you were going to talk about me, the bitches from the front <laughs> I thought you were just talking about childhood and Barbies and... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to keep it real light. That, that, okay. That's going to take me down a sad move, guys. Barbie just gave me spiritual awakening vibes. Men I want, men I need. I cried about it already. I don't need to do it again. Okay. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. What I can talk about is that... G give, me a, give me a second. <laughs> give me one second. I'm going to be right back. <laughs> oh... I came home today from watching the Barbie movie. Oh, sorry. This is all in my way. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I came home from watching the Barbie movie, and these are at my door. 50 roses. Are you down? Yeah, because so am I. <laughs> so the fuck am I. Okay, we can actually get into it now. I'm done. Um, I don't know what I would... <laughs> Pick anything. Okay. Do anything. Feel anything. Which one resonates with you right now? I feel like the other day, me and you were talking about how when me and you were on our period, suddenly it's literally smoke with everybody and their mom, especially men. Like, every time me and her are about to get our period, suddenly we get so fucking angry, we cut off all of our niggas, like all of our hoes. Every one of them gets cut off, and we're like, this is not life. This is not for me. I can't keep doing this. Like, I can't. I just can't keep entertaining you niggas like this. Like, this is just... And then like our period starts and we're like, now we're we're niggas. No, no. <laughs> guys, I promise you, I, when I'm on my period, I don't be getting any other symptoms. Maybe I'll get hungry here and there and kind of like lay, lay down some cramps here and there. It's nothing crazy, but the main symptom that I be getting that tells me my period's around the corner is I want to cut every man in my life off. Everybody. I'm sitting there and I'm praying to God. I said, God, I was telling her, I pray. I'm like, God. Listen, I'm like a tree, and everybody in my life is leaves. Let them drop if they're dead leaves to me. God, if it's dead weight, don't let me carry it. Let it drop. And I just feel like cutting everybody off. Like, this nigga was about to get caught off. 50 roses? Oh. <laughs> 50 roses? Okay. Hey, he got hooked right back on. He doesn't even know. He saved himself. He's been taken uh, back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was, he, I wanted to cut him off. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, yesterday, I texted 
go. Nope, I'm not even gonna say what I texted her. No, nah, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm gonna get caught. Yeah, up, right? You might say a little bit too much. You might. You might say a bit too much. <laughs> but when I texted, what I said, I texted. Mm -hmm. I was like on some like. Let me see what the fucking response is. Mm -hmm. And if the fucking response doesn't match what I wanted to match, then we're done. It's mm -hmm. done. And so luckily, this was his response, but mm. yeah. I'd be feeling like cutting everybody off. Like niggas could get it. Smoke. I, I, like, I, men just do so much. They just do so much to make life harder than it has to be. And when you're on your period, it just, it just, uh, 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 it's just so bad because you will be like, I'm on my period. I'm cramping up. Now, Layla, as my friend, when I tell you that, what do you think? If you're on my way to my house right now. What? I'm gonna buy you food, get you some tea, maybe. It's like, it's like, it's almost as if you have a penis. Yeah. Like, it's almost as if, I feel like niggas, they, they, they're supposed to have these thoughts. Like, this, they're penis. But you know what I think it is like sometimes? Supposed to Specifically when it comes to periods, I feel like men think we're being so fucking overdramatic. Maybe, but but believe me when I'm telling you, I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. I'm not. We don't need to go to the extent of like you. You need to resonate with the feeling. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm feeling like this. Cater to me. What the fuck, bro? I remember. They don't do shit. They're just like, oh, I hope you feel better. Did you drink some tea? Why is there not tea and crumpets at the no. door? No, like, bro. They'd be the main ones. <laughs> I heard hot. A hot. Um. I heard. You heard! You heard! Oh my gosh! Oh, who did you hear it from? I'm who told so confused. You? Who told bro, you? I hate when men. Bro. <laughs> Stacy. Stacy. <laughs> Look what one of the topics is. Should I talk about it? Yes. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys a story about my life, okay? <laughs> and it's gonna be between me and you. Don't tell anybody else. I was messing with this guy, yeah? And we're not even gonna get into this guy, we're not gonna get into the logistics, there's no need for the logistics. But, let me tell you why, let me tell you why. Where do I even fucking start? I was sick, right? And, I, and I've already made it very clear to this man that like, I hate when I give, when I say that something's wrong, or when I say that I'm going through something, or when I say that anything, and you don't like come back with a solution, or you don't come back with like even an attempt to move in the direction of a solution. He knows this, especially when you're a man. You, I, anyways. So then I tell him one day, I'm like, oh, I'm so sick. This man told me, um, okay, so uh, is your roommate home? I said no, because I didn't want him to be like, go tell her to go get you medicine. So I said no. Then this man said, so, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. You let me know when she's coming home. And then when you let me know that, then we're going to like figure something out. And if I said three days, and then in those two days I pass away, what happens now? Mm -hmm. I literally was like, what type of plan? This is the type of men. It doesn't make any fucking sense. This is what this is the type of what men. What do you mean? Where is your roommate right now? This is the type of men. This is the type of men. This is the type it of men. It is. I literally was like, what? And then I, I never talked to him ever again. I, I healed myself throughout that cold. I did what I had to. I took my own medicine. I was just like, yeah, this is just like you're not giving. Like I'm not doing anything with you. Then mind you, I know how to take care of myself. So that's fine. I know how to. But it's just like the way that you did nothing. You couldn't even bring me one cough drop. Mm -hmm. Oh man. And you drive. You have a vehicle. A, and a good one at that. And you know, oh, there's just so many things that you know how to do, and it's just so easy to do them. So it's like, why didn't you do them? But then you want to say in the same breath, say that you care about me. So it's like, do you care or no? Don't say that you care and then not do like don't 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 lie to my face. Just don't tell me you care about me in the first place. Then, fast forward. How do we even get to that place? How do we even get there? What do you mean? The picture that he sent me. Oh my god. Basically, <laughs> I wish I remember, but I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Basically, um, I think he hit you up again. Like he called you or some shit mm -hmm. and you didn't answer. Mm -hmm. Then he texted you saying, I need to speak to you immediately or something. Mm -hmm. Like he just being really fucking over dramatic. So then she answered the phone for him and they started talking. And he was like, um, I don't know what was said. You guys kind of argued. I, I was telling him. The reason I was ignoring you for two days is because I don't like people who don't like, like, you're, you're just not solution-based. I've given you a solution-based. Solution nothing. Yeah, you're not solution-based. I don't like that. And so, I don't like talking to you. I'm just, yeah. And then, this nigga says, um, she says she's hungry. And he was like, okay, well. No, 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 no. Before I said I'm hungry. 
he he said, yeah, you should have communicated with me that though, because after you didn't even tell me whether your roommate was back or when he's when your roommate was back, I was gonna say, um, okay, she's not back. Let me take you to the hospital, and then we figure it out. And this and the third, so you have to like <sighs> you have to like call me, then communicate. And I was like, okay, whatever. And he told me I, I, I apologize. Yeah, he was like, I apologize for like for making you feel like you're not. You, I don't care about you. This and the third, and I was just like, okay, whatever. Then I was like, I'm gonna just see if I throw another thing at you, where you're gonna come back with a solution. So I said, I'm hungry. And he said, most places are closed. Like, you're, you're sick and you need healthy food. Most healthy food places are closed. And I said, I just need food, sir. So if, let's just say I don't need healthy food. And it's past midnight. Am I supposed to sleep, eat sleep? Yeah. I'm supposed to eat, even eat if it's something. McDonald's, yeah. I'm supposed to eat something. So I'm just like, hmm, so what was that place that me and you went to, like, 1 o'clock in the morning one time? It's open, yeah? And he goes, oh, let me figure out what it's called. He spends all his time trying to figure out what it's called. Then he sends me the name and tells me it's on Uber Eats and DoorDash. And tells you like, what area it's in. Where did they deliver Nigga, to? Nigga, what? Where did he deliver to? I said, where did you he deliver to? You are in your car right now. now. And then you you live down the street from me. And the restaurant is down the street from me. Just go get the food and bring it to me. Or come pick me up and take me to get the food. Like, why are you after, like, why are you, like, you being Thank dumb you. right now? I know if I asked him to just come, I just want to see you, he would have came. But because I now asked you for food, it made you kind of, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm confused. And so then... He, um, I didn't, I didn't say anything to him because I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? Oh, you know what? Wait, can I say it? <laughs> Don't, you love to jump. You love to just tell the end of the story without telling <laughs> the beginning. Um, but, um, he, I'm just going to lead it up and then you can say what, what the end, okay? okay. But he, I tell him like, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, um, my, cause I was, when he said delivery, these are the delivery apps that I do it. I was like, okay, okay, bye. I'm done talking to you. I didn't say it like that, but I was just like, okay, bye. Hang up. Then I was sitting there and I'm like, this nigga really... Did we just have a conversation about being solution based? You didn't. You weren't solution based. So then I, I texted him. I said, "Listen, the delivery apps you sent me are not working. Can you pick it up and give it to me?" He said, "Yeah, I can definitely pick it up and give it to you." So I said, "Okay. Um, if that's not too much, I'd love to do it that way." Then this man did not respond to me, guys. From eleven when that conversation was had up until like two in the morning, he did not respond to me. And so I'm like, and I was text again. I said, "This is what right here." I'm gonna let you know right now. We're never speaking again because you're you're just not. It's just not real life with you. Like I, I enjoy reality. I love being on this baseline of reality here. You just apologized for this, and now you're doing it again. And then in in your mind, I don't have food. Yeah. In your mind, I, I I'm just I'm, sitting here starving, waiting for you because you said you were gonna give me the fucking food. And he and he didn't even ask me what I want or don't get something. I'm I something came up. Don't get something. I'm like you know mm -hmm. no. Then go ahead. Then this man texts her, which she says, this is the exact reason why I'm not talking to you no more. We're done. We're not speaking to you no more. This so nigga sends her a picture of his friend in the hospital with a book, broken, bloody arm. Guys, it was so bloody. The arm was... Bloody as fuck. And I, I wish this man had an iPhone just so I could know for sure. I know that picture was not taken right now. I know that picture was not taken. Because the craziest part is, previously he had asked her to hang out. Then she said, the day of, she said, because you didn't text me yesterday to let me know that we're actually doing this today, I didn't get to clear my schedule for you. So I can't hang out with you today. This nigga says, it's the anniversary of my father passing away. You wanted to link anyway. Yeah, yeah, you wanted you to link You clearly me. didn't give a fuck about the fact that it was the anniversary of your dad passing away. And he sends me, he sends me videos. After he says the anniversary. Releasing it's like releasing lanterns. It's like him releasing lanterns. It's like, this was, this is the, this is the reason. Shut the fuck and up. And this is that it was the anniversary of my dad passing away. So now fast forward, he sends me this picture of his friend with a cast and it's bleeding. You're a liar. And he has like, all this stuff like, camera roll. And he's like, no, wait, 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 wait. He's like, with the picture, it says, Something about humans, imperfect humans make humans. Um, Where's your phone? phone? I can't keep winging it. It's over there. Let me grab it. Guys, he said the most blood clot, stupid, this stupid, stupid, stupid paragraph to go with this stupid, stupid, stupid picture of his friend. A bloody ass arm. Bro, his friend is like fast asleep. First of all, <laughs> have some respect for your Why friend. Why don't you? Wait, the thing is, who is this nigga? Like, who yeah, is I've this never seen this man in my life. Guys. Even when I see the picture again, I guess I get I get mad. He said, <laughs> "Minor shit turns to major situations, in which humans cause other humans to become unhuman." I'm not I'm not too I'm not trying to act too negative. First, you in Mexico, which I asked you to reconsider and switch destinations, and now my people can't stand by and people that matter be hurt. I'm a good dude. I really want to live, laugh, and love. And part of me still wants to seek people who hurt innocent people and make them suffer. Enter, enter. Guys, he gave me a little bit of space to breathe and take it in. It's two paragraphs. I swallowed it and then go. It's a paragraph and then a separate 
Par all sent in one message. Yep. Always remember to shine like the sun. Always remain the beautiful person you are whose heart, heart emoji, and whose soul, 100, 100 emoji, <laughs> pure. Then a picture of his bloody friend. My father, my god. What is the I'm male fully species? Convinced. I'm fully convinced this nigga has just so much shit in his phone to get him out of any situation he's yep. to get out of. He just has my so many pictures. Away. My yes. friend's mm -hmm. arm is missing off of his body. <laughs> and then all, he, all he had to say was, my fault I slept, or my fault I couldn't make it, or my fault. Oh, my fault, my friend is literally in the hospital and I rushed to the hospital to go see him. That's all he had to say. He said, listen, I'm a gaslight. She's a good people, make the people go sing. <laughs> Here's my friend, <laughs> bleeding on the end, bleeding, like, please be so what? fucking real, right? What kind Amen. of nonsense is I this? I hate men, That nigga is a liar. And what's crazy, guys, I'm going to be completely frank and, and let <laughs> part with you right now. <laughs> this man is well, well into life. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say how old. I can't even believe. But it's just like, you're too old to be acting to like act like that. Like, it's not like, it's not like 20s, guys. Not 30s, not 40s. You're too, old, you're too old to be gaslighting me and sending me pictures. Yeah. You're gaslighting? And sending me pictures as proof? And the thing is, he didn't send me the picture and say like, yo, my bad. This is what's just happening right now. This is where I am. Here's photo evidence. But I'm sorry. This nigga sent you a paragraph. <laughs> Bro, the first you. sentence. <laughs> what? Minor shit makes major. major. <laughs> 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 What are you talking about? What are you talking Shut about? Shut up. And that's how you know he's lying. Because why did you say this instead of just telling me, yo, exactly, my fault, my exactly. friend just got into an accident? I, I responded to, and you know what? Normally, I don't say, I'm like, I, if I said the last thing I said, I said everything I had to say, I'm not saying anything else. When I saw that picture and I saw the, the route he tried to go with this, I had to respond. Me have to send this thing. I said, <laughs> I said, you're trying to gaslight me and you could have easily called and said what happened and you're not a serious person at all. <laughs> I didn't let him know. You're not real. There's nothing about you that's fucking real. Then I blocked his phone number because I don't want to hear anything else that has to come out of that mouth of yours. Nonsense. I hate men. Oh, I can't believe I have to mate with one at one point in my life. Like, I have to see one, love one. Like, I, I, I know I have such I'm a tired. hard time. I'm tired. I have such a hard time fathoming the idea of, like, falling in love again. I feel like after I did it one time and then I see how unserious men really are, I can't. Even these flowers, cool. That is fun and fresh. Funky, fresh. There's different. Different, lovely. I just can't see myself falling in love. Like, there's just no way that there's, like, I have to fall in love with a man. I don't have to fall in love, fall in love with a man, but that's my, this is what I'm picking from. The dating pool not only has piss in it, there's shit in it. <laughs> and they can do it. <sighs> Anyways. Another topic of discussion is, so at first what I wrote down was um, when like we make fun of our African parents for not being able to pronounce things correctly, and I thought that shit was funny, but when I reread it, it just made me think about, you know when people just like come at like foreigners kind of just a little bit sideways, and it's like, you're real angry right now, but I don't think you even understand that the man that you're yelling at knows what he did wrong, and is understanding what you're saying to him right now. And I think I think about that sometimes, because I feel like you said something about it before, and it's like people like, especially when it comes to like older African parents or like when their kids try to say some shit to them and it's like, do you know your parents, this old ass African lady has no idea what you're saying to her right now. She's not understanding this life. You know what I mean? Yeah. And sometimes they're so mean about it. But sometimes I enjoy, I like that sometimes because, because. No, no, I don't mean just correcting them. No, I just no, 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 what I, I don't. really mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When people, okay, yeah, yeah. The mean part's not nice, but with the fact that sometimes I like, there's sometimes where I see my dad interact with people, and it's like I can tell they're getting angry with him, and he can't un completely like fathom what the fuck's happening. Mm -hmm. And it's like I like that for my dad because it's like you live in this um oh. in this blurred <laughs> state, so that you don't get hurt. Because this mm -hmm. person's a being a dickhead, and mm -hmm. they're not gonna stop being a dickhead, and you can't sit there and try to make them un not a dickhead because they they are going to always be a dickhead. Mm -hmm. But this false sense of Life you yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one time when we were driving home from school, some guy almost hit my dad with the like we always got into a car accident, and and he put up the middle finger and he just kept saying fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Of course, I'm understanding exactly what he's doing. Mm -hmm. My dad was just like, good for you, good for you, good, good for you. I'm good. I was literally like, <laughs> I asked him, cuss words to kiku you. I think, but I, I don't. Are there cuss words to kiku? I don't know any. 
I don't, I don't think I've ever heard your parents cuss. My parents don't, don't cuss. Unless it's like someone did something like... My parents? Up the know, wazoo? Oh, yeah. My dad, no, my dad only cusses. When, <laughs> when my dad cusses, that's when I know I need to sit down and let this man breathe. Because he just, he never cusses. My mom, though, be cussing all Somali, Arabic, English, every language you can think of, the bitch is cussing in it. And you know what the what I think is the craziest thing she's ever fucking done? We're at, my mom and dad were at the mall one day when they first, like, it was like they weren't living in America for a couple years at this point. I think. I could be wrong, though. They weren't here for that long. My mom goes to the mall. Some white man, mind you, I grew up in Tennessee, guys, so the white people there don't fucking like us because they just, like, they just, we're black, we're Muslim, they don't like us. My mom is walking through the mall. Some white man looks at my mom and goes like this to her and, like, pretends like he's shooting her. And my, you won't even believe what my mom did in response. Did I tell you about this? No. Stacey, my mom. <laughs> my dad had to grab her and drag her away after she did this. My mom said, and pretended to throw a grenade. <laughs> Bitch, you have a hijab on your fucking head. They already think you're a terrorist. Listen. They already. <laughs> Listen. He she shot me to, first. She pretended to throw a grenade at this nigga. My dad had to physically grab her and drag her away. He was like, there's just no way you just did that in public. There's just no way. You already know what they think of us. There's just no way you just did that in public. Your mom's such a firecracker. My mom is and a... And your dad is such a... He has a, like, a firecracker. But when my dad head. gets mad, is actually the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. This I can imagine. Because he's so calm all the time. Mm -hmm. When you get people like that mad, it's different. It's like the happen. Have you ever seen the happen mad? Mm -mm. That is scary. That is some scary <laughs> shit. The happen was mad one day I locked myself in my room. I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> I think it okay. passes more of a punch that way. Yeah. If you're constantly upset, constantly bitching, constantly doing something, every t when you're actually mad, people are looking at you like, again? Again? You're so the, What is it called? The, the boy who cried wolf? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 One time Basha called me that. But, it, but, but I think she called me, she called me the boy, <laughs> she called me the boy who cried wolf because, not because I'm, I'm a mad person, but because I just be jokingly lying all the time. Like, uh, I just be like, ah. I told you that. I said, one day you're going to be telling us the truth and we're not going to believe you. <laughs> I just be like, I, you guys, not like crazy lies either. It's literally just like, bro, oh, you'll never guess. I got a red carpet. And you go to my room, there's no red carpet. It's just like, <laughs> like nah, what did you like, gain yeah. from lying about that? <laughs> that's what <laughs> said. But she said, I'm gonna be, one day I'm going to be actually dead telling the truth and no one's going to think I'm telling the truth. Yeah. And I was like, now I'd be a little, I know I don't, I don't think I lie senselessly as much anymore. Do I? No, not as much. Yeah, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I think I've definitely improved. So, <clears throat> yeah. Alrighty. Oh. I'm trying to... I feel like some of these things that I picked are a little bit messy, and so I'm trying to pick something that's not too messy. I don't let's, know why Let's say light. Light? It's, that's like a Greek yogurt, like a low cow. Cinnamon. Cinnamon Greek yogurt. Oh, okay. I got you. So... Yeah, he is. Okay. Me and Stacey were watching Shits and Gates, which is a, pod a podcast of these two British guys, and they're pretty funny. They're pretty cool people. In the podcast, they talked about, they heard a story of somebody mm. put, actually, it was that nigga's friend. It wasn't even a story that they heard. He was literally telling a story from experience. One of his friends put Viagra in another friend's drink and watched him drink it and didn't fucking tell him that there's Viagra in his drink. So now they're all watching him, and he's moving his shit around trying to, like, hide the fact that he's hard right now and they're all like giggling and laughing at him and apparently the one who's on the podcast was saying like guys i don't think this is a good idea so he had no he didn't partake in it but it's crazy that they did that shit and they're all just kind of laughing at him and i said if i was the friend and i put one and two together and realized y'all niggas put viagra in my fucking drink and didn't tell me i said i'm pulling my pants down and i'm beating the shit out of everybody with it I, Talking about, what we're talking about. That's not what I said. I said, I'm putting my pants on and beating the shit out of you on hard. Like, it's like, now we're all uncomfortable. No, everybody's uncomfortable. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I said. The last time we had this conversation, guys, I thought she was saying that if someone drugged her with Viagra and now she's on hard, instead of just going to the hospital, she's going to beat everybody with the <laughs> boner. <laughs> Possible. I didn't. I not beat the. I didn't want to beat the brakes off them, but I just wanted them to feel uncomfortable with the fact that like I, you caused this this boner and now it's next to your face. Like now it's 
like on your on your forehead. <laughs> no, I was just saying beat them while it's out. While it's out. Oh wow, we are on two different bases. <laughs> That's crazy. I was thinking like like run around like <laughs> no. We are two different Run around? No, I'll start beating the shit out of everybody. I'll start chasing everybody around with my pants down. Because there's just no way. There's no way. Now everybody's uncomfortable. I'm clearly uncomfortable. I don't know what's wrong. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out why in my heart right now. Like, I'm moving around so nobody sees. Once I realize... It's you. It's you guys who did this? So everybody's going to be uncomfortable in this fucking room. Everybody thinks it's, it's going to be uncomfortable. I don't even like... I don't even like like my friends like that. Like, like my friends sexually. But I would be like... I would scare them. I'd be like, what if you guys come here and relieve me because you guys want to make me hard? <laughs> come here. Fix the no problem me. now. You know, boys be so scared of like, oh, that's so gay. That's so gay. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, come, 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 robots. Because you want to make me hard? Come sit on me. <laughs> <Come sit on. laughs> I would that, do that. Bro, that is crazy. Yeah. No. I would never do that to somebody. They were talking about. And when you're young and you take Viagra, that shit hurts. That, you're not supposed to. Yeah, what do you mean by that? What the fuck? Why? Why would you like? Well, your friendship is just that boring that you just decided like, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna put it as sexually in, in like like inducive drink um drug it inside her. Yeah. What? You guys are that bored? Please play like um Uno or something. Yeah. Do something different. Like they're or, also talking or about. You want to prank somebody so bad? Spill cold water on them. Mm, put ketchup under their seat. Mm, just it's like why did you put Viagra? In and his bed. I hate a prank that goes on for so long. Like that's not funny anymore. He's he has he's now he's on hard for hours. They were also talking about how, um, uh, they some some lady like put cannabis in her wedding guest's food, and so everybody was high the whole time tripping out. And it's like, you have a grandmother, <laughs> you have a grandmother <laughs> and a grandfather somewhere blasted, mm -hmm. blasted out of their mind, and they don't even know. Guys, I can only imagine like. The way edibles feel, like, just when you take it by yourself. Like, when you put it inside your own mouth and you know it's coming and then boom, it comes and that's how crazy it feels. I can only imagine if you did not know that shit's coming. Like, if you, you did not know. By that. Even like, yeah, yeah. I cannot imagine. I would be, I would be an out-of-body experience. I'd be out of my body, quite literally. When I heard them say that, I promise you, if I was in that situation, the second it, it, the effects have worn off, I'm beating the shit out of you. I don't give a fuck if it's your special day and that you're the bride. I'm yeah. beating the fucking shit out of you. Yeah. Bitch, are you fucking stupid? That's craziness. Nothing about that is funny. No. And, and everybody reacts differently to weed. It's like, some people, they're happy. Some people, they sass. Some people, they get anxious. Why would you do that now? I am beating and then it's the like, shit it's out like of you. You're, you're high for hours. I am beating the shit out of you. You're high for hours. And if you've never felt that before, and now you're you're feeling it for the first time at gym. I would be wedding. having a panic attack. <laughs> I would be thinking that I'm dying. Yeah, I cannot imagine doing weed and then not knowing that you did weed. Hey. I'm gonna have to kill you after that. Hey. There is just no it's just way. like, okay, we get it, you want everyone to have a and, good and what, time. You know what? What if there was somebody in that bitch who was like it took them so long to stop doing weed, stop taking edibles. <laughs> shorty, you shorty, just... she violated so many people's yeah. boundaries. Like, so many people. What if it was that person? What if there's people who just choose not to? What mm -hmm. if there's people who, who are children? What if there are people who, like, now a kid dipped into the fucking olive oil and fuck, that was cannabis. That was cannabis juice. Now he's died too. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like, damn, this is a lot. At least, it's different when people, some people have weddings where they have that. And it's like, mm -hmm. At least everybody like knows. everybody knows. Yeah. Everybody knows what they're eating is, is gonna make them high. But this one, sure you're bugging out. You 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 bug. You drug them. No, quite literally. Secretly. Quite literally. And the caterer was that's off illegal. the scene. The caterer left the scene before the police could get there. <laughs> that's that's actually they illegal. Knew. <laughs> they knew. They that's knew. That's actually illegal. Wait, you drug somebody. People are crazy. You know what's crazy? I don't eat at weddings. At weddings. When there's big um, functions, I just don't eat because I'm too scared that like, I remember one time when I was a kid, so we went to someone's wedding and I remember it was a big thing, like people ate and then everybody got like explosive diarrhea. Ever since then, when you cook for like a big group, first of all, it ends up tasting like dog shit because mm -hmm. you did it in such a big portion rather than just a small portion. And then it's just, I don't know what happened. If you take that one, that one serving, everybody who eats that one serving is just fucked. I, I said, once I saw that catastrophic event happen one time, that was enough for me to never touch food like that again. So now at, at, at events, I'd be drinking, I do not eat. 
Mm. I never eat. Can't, you can't. So I've yeah. never thought about that. I'd be in that bitch fucking it up. Mm -mm. I'd be looking at it like thinking, I think to myself, where, who could have, where? Yeah. Yeah, no. And then what if one bitch, what if, what if one person has something against like the person who's throwing the event, like a, the bride? And now everybody else is getting the repercussions of Yep, because you put your foot in the fucking pot of rice. Yeah. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not eating. I did. Uh uh. I just can't do it. That shit. That is crazy. <sighs> I'm going to have a destination wedding so that only a certain, like, 15 group of people, 15 people can, 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 can come. And then there's not, no bullshit like that. So you leave the people without money, without wahala at home. <laughs> then take mm. everybody else with you. Yeah. Um, I wrote this down a while ago, but I still want to talk about this. Love Island, this season, mm. they are in their fucking bag. And the way that they introduced... Casa Amor was actually insane. Oh, with Neo. With Neo. And then he asked, oh, I need all the girls to come outside. I'm going to take a picture. Boom. The bitches are gone. They're in Casa Amor. And then the men are like, where are all of our bitches? And then in the distance, the house lights up. That is the craziest, most cinematic thing I've ever seen on Love Island. You know what's crazy? I, when I tell a story, I'd be like trying to really paint a picture for someone who's never heard the shit okay, ever. Okay, so you do that, do that. You just be so like, like, you just said, boom, house, Neo is in the house. They take a picture of boom, selfie, bow, <laughs> castle, more, okay, 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 you explain it, you explain it. <laughs> it. She basically said it, she basically said it, but... It, it, in, in love, this is this season of Love Island. They always have this thing called Casa Amor, which is like they split the boys and the girls and add new girls to where the boys live and new boys to where the girls live. And then they like test out these uh, the original relationship they have, see if they are still faithful to the original person that they were with. Neo comes and does a surprise guest performance while they're in the original house. And then he's like, oh, so sorry, boys. I just want to take a picture with the girls out front. And the girls are like, okay. The boys are like, okay, just go take a picture with them. And then he takes the girls to the front of the house. As he's taking the selfie with them, a bus pulls up that says Casa Amor, so it's time to split up. And so the girls all scream and run in, the boys can hear it. Boom, now they're in separate houses, they get new people. And then the boys can like see Casa Amor lighting up in the distance. Like they, that house was never there to them. Now it's dark and they can hear screaming girls and all these people having fun and it's, and it's bright. And Neil basically took their bitches. I was like, yo. That, that is season? the most cinematic shit I've ever mm -hmm. seen in my life. And I was saying, <clears throat> if I was the niggas, and they just took all of our fucking bitches to another house and they told us pack their bags he gave them something nice I'm to wear i'm giving them one shoe i'm <laughs> not packing none of their makeup i'm packing my clothes i'm packing <laughs> my clothes in there like it's like and now you're not you're definitely not gonna get with this new nigga that you just met because you ain't got shit to fucking wear bitch like i'm putting like my toothbrush in there like there's just no i'm not gonna give you anything to work with but give them one thing the whole suitcase put one thing in there i'm not giving you shit to work with <laughs> so when you have to go mac with them, like or get to know other people it's like what, what are you gonna wear what are you gonna wear imagine that nigga puts all his clothes in there she has to wear it no nigga's gonna speak to her mm -hmm. she is in another nigga's clothes yeah some of them act like that some of them some of them do do that but then they always end up having clothes i don't know if they cast the people just the be people, like yeah. yeah let me just actually get you right because i don't know why he did that to you but yeah i don't know this season's good i feel like every season of love island is good i'm biased i brought i love season. this season. season i think the i think last season i did not finish it the season right before this i think it's season nine love island uk we're talking about uk just to be oh specific. yeah we don't want to miss it yeah um love island uk season nine <laughs> wasn't that good i don't know if i was fucking with the cast the cast was a, a little bit annoying not all of them but like there was some of them on there who was just like okay i can't keep watching this every single day you want to fight 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 every single day some there was this one girl that on that show mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say her actually i'm just gonna say her name just before we talk about her her name's olivia she just every single day was just like did you see the way that layla greeted me in the kitchen did you think did you think about that i just think i just think it has some like it's like every day and it's never like i bumped into you and you're like do you got a problem mm -hmm. no it would be like then you see her running off did you see the way that she did that earlier today you don't think that's a little bit bitch you are just every day problem and the mm -hmm. thing is she went through so many different men 
on that show and it was like it, it was always like a thing of like the men would lose interest in her or like try to test the waters with someone else while still with her mm -hmm. and i felt bad for her but then I, and the other my other half of my brain was like it's because you're spending so much time worrying about who did what in the kitchen and who did what in the pool mm -hmm. instead of focusing on the person who you're with now, the whole time the other bitch who's trying to get with your nigga is grafting grafting this mm -hmm. man showing him interesting things interesting things you you're sitting here wondering about x y you know what makes me think of mm. Mitch. 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 Explain. Guys, Mitch is a boy from this season. Season 10. Okay, I'm trying to explain it the best I can. How does it react? I don't know how. Basically, so the show begins, right? And everybody gets coupled up with somebody automatically. Mitch gets coupled up with Molly. He's like over the fucking moon about this. Mind you, you dead ass do not know this bitch. You've known her for approximately <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> like he's over he's the so... fucking moon. <laughs> okay. Like he's so excited about this. Then... Um, is that Zach comes in right after, right? He's like a bombshell, like right I after. Think so, Zach comes in. Molly likes Zach. Zach likes Molly. They start talking to each other. Mitch is in her ear talking about like, if it's anything, I know I'm better for you than he is. None of you guys know each other. It's been one week, and Zach actually just joined today. You don't know who this man is or what he could do. Like it's like he automatically. It's like he just saying shit just to say shit. And then when she finally gets Mitch to leave her alone, and he gets who does he get with after that? Mitch has been through like five, six. Yeah, girls. Mitch like, has been through so many like, bitches, and it's like, oh my god. And, and you know, at first I felt bad for him because he just kept embarrassing himself. Like he would make a joke, and like, I think there was one point where um, he very clearly saved Molly for himself, but was pretending like he saved Molly for Zach from being dumped from the island. Because like, if you don't pick somebody and they're standing there alone, they get dumped off the island. So he picked her, and he was like, I know that that nigga did it because he wanted Molly to sleep in his bed. Then he goes to the boys and he goes, I was thinking, like, Molly, this girl, Molly, this girl. I have to do it for my boy, Zach. And I'm just, I'm... And then he goes and tells Molly privately, like, um, you know, I did this for us, like, so that we can still crack on. Like, I know Zach thinks I did it for you two to be together so you don't get dumped, but, like, where... And as he's saying this, Zach is walking towards them. And as he, he's literally going like, and I literally, like, it's like, I did it for us. I didn't do it for him. Like, I, I want to be with you. Like, it's not even, Zach's walking up because, and you're welcome. Yep. You're welcome. And you both are welcome. Like, he changed the time like, so fast. The difference, though, between Mitch and that girl who I was talking about is that that girl seems to me like she doesn't ever think about, about, no, that girl, th that girl seems to me like she thinks too much about the game. Like, she thinks too much about who said what and what, what how does this play into the whole mm. thing, the whole game, and the, will the public like her and does why. Every time they, oh, I just been sorry. <laughs> Every time the public, like, vote, she'll be like, oh, why were we at the bottom this week? Why? Like, she thinks so much about the show. Mm. Mitch only thinks about what is happening. Mitch says things for what is going to benefit him right now. In the here. next five minutes. In the next, maybe he does not ten, think about the next couple days. He doesn't think about the fact that hmm, all this shit is on camera. I'm lying to this bitch's face. I'm telling her that I only want her, and I've always only wanted her, and she's the only person who entices me, and all this stuff. Little do I, little do I know that in during movie night, there's like a section called movie night where they kind of run back the cameras. They're going to run it back about how I told every other girl the same, same thing that I'm thing. telling her. He doesn't think that, and then even when people call him out, like Zach would be like. Yo, you're like, you need to like tighten up. Like, you're just like, everyone will make, make slick comments at him and tell him basically, stop being a liar. Stop like, stop playing this game for everybody else. Just play it for yourself. Be real. Be true. He just like giggles it off, giggles it off. Mm -hmm. And now look, it's happening again. I just can't. Sometimes I feel so bad for him. He does it too much. But, but he does it so much yeah. that I'm just like, you're doing, th this is completely your fault. He digs a I can't keep feeling bad for me. Yeah, he digs a grave for himself. A really, really big grave for himself. I, I don't feel bad for him anymore. I'm numb to that man. Mm -hmm. uh, before I thought he was so miskeen and he needs help, no, he's he's done. Um, there's something else that I wanted to talk about. If you, I'm gonna talk about it. Okay. Hopefully, the person that I was talking about doesn't watch these videos, and if you do, I'm sorry. If any what you're about you guys to hear. do, if anybody watches these videos and then you see, I, I just be hoping that these videos are too long for these people who are to actually, about, yeah, to actually know, tap what, in, yeah. know what these two birds are talking about. Like, okay. Yeah. But basically, there was this guy that I was like, kind of like friends with. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of flirting with him. I liked him. He would flirt back with me every now and then. Like, he was very much, he was giving like, oh, you yeah. Know, he was to me. I was like, what is this guy talking oh. about? Oh, okay. okay. But, 
um, he would like, sometimes he would flirt with me and sometimes he would kind of shut it down. And I was like, I'm really confused as to what your problem is and why you're sometimes flirting with me and why sometimes it's like you want me to shut the fuck up. Like, I'm, I don't understand what the fuck your problem is. But I didn't say nothing. So then I like left him alone and I stopped flirting with him. The second I leave him alone, he comes back and starts fucking trying to talk to me again. And I'm just like, what exactly? Like, you know when men like the chase and when you try to speak to them, they don't want to fucking talk to you. But the second you leave them alone, now suddenly they're so interested in you. Yep, it was yep. just like a rigmarole of that with this man. And I was just like, at some point I was like, this is exhausting. I'm done. But he had already told me he was coming to LA for his birthday and him and his friends. And so he was like, what should we do? And I was like, okay, we can go to the spot. It's mad fun. We can do that for the day. I get there. Mind you, the man has been dubbing me multiple times on text message. We get there. And as soon as I walk up to him, actually, I walked right past him. I didn't even recognize him for a second. But I walk right past him. He sees me. I say hello to him. Stacy was with us. Something about his vibe completely changed. Like suddenly he was interested in me. And I promise you, the man tried to hold my hand multiple times. Like, try to hold my hand. And I was really doing this. I was like... Oh. Like, I was, honestly, they even saw her doing the hands. I did it again. I was like... Like, I, just, I kept doing that to him all night. I was like, there is just no fucking way. You dug me multiple times on text. Now you see me in person. Suddenly, you just like, it's... No, I'm done. I'm actually done with this. This is fucking stupid. So then I, he texted me one day. After that, after all of that, I hadn't seen him for a couple days. He texted me saying some flirty ass shit. And I said, I have a question. And he was like, I have an answer. And I was like, are you flirting with me right now? And he was like, kind of, yeah. And I was like, I'm just confused because every time I flirt with you, you shut it down. But now suddenly you want to flirt with me. Like, I just don't understand what this is. This man said, I just know that we didn't live in the same city, so I didn't want to get your hopes up. My, my hopes up? My hopes up? What the fuck are you talking about? I like, mind you, I hate to say, I hate to do it. I don't know who this man is, but I hate to do it. Uh, it's not like she's like, it's like not like it's the most heart wrenching thing that this man doesn't like. It's not like a big oh I hate to do it, oh I hate to fucking do it, <laughs> I hate to do it. <laughs> I, like, I, I sometimes I'm like I have a conflicting because it's like the I and the day is a child of God. You know what I mean? That, that, but it's just like it's not like a, like he's acting like uh, he acted like he was the world's best catch. Oh, thank you. That's a perfect way to say yeah. it. I didn't know how how there were so many different combinations in my head. Like. What? Yeah, actually, he was acting like it's just little old you. Yeah. And then big fish, big pond, big fish like me. The fuck? Get nigga, what? But you better, oh, you better yeah. move. You better move. move. Actually, you and then he said, um, he was like, I just don't want to get your hopes up. And I said, what are you? I want to read the conversation, actually, because the way this nigga was talking was crazy. He actually texted me, and I have not responded to him. He texted me like a couple days ago. Oh, my God. The fuck is this nigga's name? Okay. Um... Just about to overheat. I see oh shit! Okay. And I, I said, okay. He said, uh, he said he's flirting. I said, I'm just really confused because every time I flirted with you, it felt like you completely shut it down. And I was like, okay, cool. But now that I've stopped flirting, you're flirting. He said, my bad. I'm just trying to be playful. Um, I didn't want to feel like I was getting your hopes up because of the distance. And I said, getting my hopes up with a bunch of question marks. Getting your hopes up <laughs> is so crazy. Like, what? Like, little, little girl like you. I know you're so far away from your big, t your little town. I don't want to. Who the do you fuck think up? that you are? are. I literally walked by you at the club. Oh. I didn't know. <laughs> what? And then I said it was lighthearted flirting, but it doesn't matter anyway because I'm over it. He's like, glad you told me because in the past there's some times where it starts off lighthearted, but then it escalates and you just seem cool. I didn't want to risk doing that and know it would be really hard for anything to come from it. I hope I didn't offend you. What are you fucking talking about? I said, it is what it is. We can still be friends though. He said, I'm okay with that. I'll be less flirty so you can have peace of mind. So, what the fuck no, he are you like, talking about? Actually, like, he thought you were like this when you when you like I was tweaking when you're like, like this. Oh, oh, fuck, you know, bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You can go and don't let the door hit you on the way out. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this nigga's name is Kevin. Okay. That's crazy. I almost said what, the name of someone who's actually. I yeah. was yeah. It's just such a basic. <laughs> I he said I'll be nice for you so you can have peace of mind. I said LMAO in all caps and I said I've been had peace of mind, Kevin. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. And if you're watching this, Kevin, so sorry, but there's just no way you were acting like and that. Don't do that to like somebody that. else. Don't speak to me. Don't do it to somebody else. Don't speak to somebody like that. You are acting like the whole world is at your knees. Is that what it is? <laughs> whatever the fuck it was. The whole world's on their knees for you, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. just like relax yourself. Calm down, Humble it's relaxation. Relaxation. The Lord, he will lift you up. 
like humble yourself. <laughs> <that actual> <laughs> And then the aunties be going, he will lift you up. And then the uncle's go, he will, he will, he will lift wow. you up. <laughs> so quiet. No, but that shit, I was uh, like, bro, I sat yeah. there for a couple minutes and I was like, again, so you can have peace of mind. So I can have peace of mind. What? Yeah. Are you I hope you find some sleep that night. I hope you weren't too stressed out that I'm not flirting with you no more. Shut the fuck up. I have some sense, please. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, after saying something like that, go over there and face the wall for five minutes. You know what's so done. crazy? I was literally <laughs> gonna say, do you remember in the crib, whenever, <laughs> I'm not gonna say who, but you always just tell them to go in the corner and, and face the corner and don't say anything about what you just done. <laughs> and it's the, our arguments used to be so serious that you used to always like, and it's just like, oh my gosh, you just used to be like, go in the fuck, and mind me, you're like one of the shortest in the house, tell me when to turn the book around and get the fuck. And face the wall. You're in timeout, actually. I was literally just thinking about that, and you said it. <laughs> I can't yeah. even believe that shit. Every time I think about it, I'm just like, what? You are not. <laughs> no, he is the best. You are not that guy. You are not hot he shit. That guy. You know? Hmm. Pissing me off. Anyways. That shit actually pissed me the fuck off. Um, I said this the other day. I don't know why you laughed so hard, but I said it. You laughed so fucking hard that we had a whole discussion about it. But I can't remember what we said. I just wrote on what I said. I said, I absolutely hate when niggas on the game. You know what it was? On the game? On the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Oh! <laughs> no, We're talking about something. You're making a strong point. Niggas. You know what I'm saying? What? Before we got to the video games, how you're talking about Kevin and how we chilled with them that night, and it just got so weird and so crazy. Oh and the whole entire guys, this is a group of people who've never chilled with before. The whole entire time, I promise you, my mouth was shut. <laughs> and the whole entire conversation, first of all, I don't think I've ever not talked that much in my life. Should yeah, I say what? I'm gonna be. It was what? Just, it was, <sighs> it was, it was just a wild night. But what I noticed from that wild night, what, and it wasn't wild like we were doing anything crazy. It was wild because we, we met Kevin and Kevin, had, Kevin brought friends and the friends were like popping Molly and doing all this crazy shit. Popping Molly and offering us rides to our house. And no, they, they didn't, didn't tell, tell us. us. They didn't tell us until we got to our destination that they popped Molly before. And, we're, and they were drinking as well, drinking while driving like in a water bottle, like closed tumbler type water we don't know what's happening know. we do yeah. not know that's what's happening yep and so we get to our destination yeah but then even off all the shit that that show we was on she still managed to sit there and talk to you about politics and i just think it's so funny that every single person who starts a conversation with you somehow gets onto the topic of politics mm -hmm. like niggas can't stop politicking with you and you don't even be going back and forth with them you don't be sitting there talking about I'm, i was i promise that whole night she was just talking and i was like She's talking to her about being Muslim and being black and being from the origins. And I promise you, I'm sitting there and I'm like, yo, going out in Los Angeles, this is the shit. This is the shit. <laughs> niggas, all niggas do in Los Angeles to go, this is, what they, this is what going out consists of. Popping some drug that is not weed. It, it has to be something crazy. It has to be out of body, okay? Mm -hmm. It has to be something that like would make you question like, like why the fuck? How did we get here? You are somebody's son or daughter. Mm -hmm. How did we get here? Mm -hmm. Um... On top of, she's telling us she woke up with random tattoos on her body because yeah. of how high she was. Do you, there were multiple we get tattoos here? on her body that she had no memory of getting. Yeah, how did we get here? That's 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 step one of going on the lane. Step two, you have to find, you have to you have to encounter some weird ass shit, whether that's weird ass people, some satanic bullshit. It has to be something, something weird. Step three, no music that is actually genuinely a nice time to dance to. We all have to jump around like we have ants in our pants. And then like like that's just a vibe and then a little bit sweaty, a little bit smelly, and then the music is terrible. Ass. Ass. And, and everybody's the, talking the whole time. And it's a social hour, number four. It is a social hour. Nobody's actually dancing and people are dancing like, like this. Where what, what what part of the lady is saying? What what? Wait. Can guys we just met this girl names like, oh, she's pretty cool, guys. This is my friend, she's she does content too. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, the whole entire night it's rambunctious behavior. Yeah. It's like, I hate it. I really hate it. You embody that shit. So yeah, hard. that's <laughs> how they be. And it, it makes me, and I just want to eat this. Bro, the entire night, I kind of want to literally say what that bitch was saying. Is that crazy? 
Um, maybe don't A her too, too big. Okay. Like, uh, she was saying some She was saying there. a lot of weird shit, but all I'm gonna say is, she said that because of her origins, she's technically black. But she was like, I'm not actually black, but I'm technically black. I mean, um, you can't take that away from me. I would never say the N-word, though, but you can't take away my blackness from me. And I'm looking at her like... Which, pick a side, choose a side. How did we fucking get here, bitch? What are we talking... And there was like... And you, you know what's crazy? I know if you're Muslim and you're watching this, you're not going to like what I'm about to say. I don't actually believe in this shit. But talking about zodiac signs is just fun sometimes. I'm a Pisces. She's a Scorpio. I've come to notice that a lot of other Pisces annoy the fuck out of me. It doesn't mean anything, but it's just something that I noticed. So <laughs> I remember in the beginning of the night, I was like, oh yeah, what's your sign? You're, you're a Cancer? I'm a Pisces, but I hate other Pisces. This and is before this, she this came. before the girl <laughs> came. The girls, I'm looking at her the entire time like... Yeah, she's <laughs> clearly like... And then I interrupted her. I said, what's your sign? She said, Pisces. I'm a Pisces. And I said, oh. oh. Like, oh. And she's like, what? Oh, like, Yo. what? Bro, she just, yeah. the whole conversation was political the entire fucking night. And every time we tried to change the topic, she somehow found a way to bring it right back to the politicalness that it was. And she kept talking about black people. And at some point she said, um, black people weren't slaves. And then I said, what are you talking about? And then she was like, they weren't. And I said, in what country? What are you talking about right now? And she was like, um, no, it's just like, I mean, in most countries, they weren't even slaves. They ruled things. Like, they were kings. They were, they were, they run, they run our, my country. And I'm looking at her like, what are you fucking talking about right now? In other places, baby, they were slaves. What are you Shut talking up. about? And on top, of, on top of that, bro, this is supposed to be a Saturday night out. Yeah, why are we having a good yeah. time? I fucking, guys, when I tell you, I feel like people think I'm an actual bird because of how much I say I hate LA and I love other places. Like, I love to just escape and just go away. And when I come back here, it's like, oh my god. I want to sit in my house and bake a cake. That's what I want to do here. I never want to go out. But it's because of this. It's like, I just came from Mexico. And when I went to Mexico, I went with all the people from, like, a lot of people from my hometown. Not a lot. Like, 10 people from my hometown were there. It just felt like... All, all right. of us get drunk, all of us go out, nobody's saying, no one's talking anything political, no one's talking anything, no one's even speaking English. People are just going, like, and we're all just dancing on each other, bah, bah, bah. It's a vibe. We're all drunk, we're having fun, we're driving My TV. thing is, if we're going to talk, let's talk about something nice, something funny, let's tell a funny story, let's make a joke, let's like, what kind of music do you like? Oh, punk? That's cool, I listen to emo music. What's that like? Why the fuck are we talking about politics yeah. and slavery? Can I get a... And I promise you, every time I go outside, that is what fucking happens. Like... And no one speaks to me. And I can't do shit about it. I speak to her and they love to talk about a... Let me tell you about a hijab. Let me tell you about being... Let me tell you, since you're Arabic... Since you're like, Arab, what are you talking about? Since you're Arab, let me tell you about being Arab. It's like... But I'm not... But I'm, not, I'm, not, not, I'm not, not Arab. No, 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 let me tell you. Bro, the other day, the I'm other gonna day, say this one. the other day, <laughs> I literally be going off the nose. I just be spiraling from my brain. The other day, I was like, I can't remember what the fuck we we're supposed to be doing, but like, oh, we're supposed to be cleaning, right? And so then I, me and Lila were like, we both cannot get it together enough, so we're gonna just both like together as an as a group agree that we're separating to clean, and then we're gonna join back together to come and clean the kitchen. So then I'm sitting in my closet on my floor folding my clothes and then I was just like, oh, my drawer is broken. I need, I need to ask Layla for her super glue. So I call Layla. I get out of the room and I'm like, Layla, can I use your super glue? And I'm not hearing her. So I'm thinking she's trying to scare me. So I'm around this house and I'm screaming Layla's name. Then I'm realizing I'm home alone. So I was like, where the fuck, where did this bitch go? So I call her. She is down the street. Like she's walking to go get kale, bro. Your mind, bro. Why did you just decide to get kale? When because I decided knew, to... I knew the grocery store was closing soon, and I knew that after we finished cleaning, we wanted to record a video, and I wanted to drink kale smoothies in the video. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So I was but like, let me get left. it now and then clean. Yeah. So she just left, and then I called her, and then I'm like, what the fuck did she say? I'm gonna go get kale, and I'm like, okay. And then she said, then I hear this person start talking in the background, and I'm like, who are you talking to? <laughs> and she starts, she looks so like. I don't like it's very clear she has no idea who this man is that talked to her and this man goes 
Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure you ask your roommate if if um, she knows any any Islamic um, what people around here people around here because I know a lot of people are out here getting like killed and shit. And I was literally like, who are you speaking to? Who is this person? Guys, this man goes on to say the most like I'm literally just folding clothes in my closet listening to the conversation that Layla's having with this man, and I'm like, Layla, who I promise you, this is me. She's on Facetime. I'm looking at him like this. I'm like. And I, the things, I kind of want to say the things that he was saying, but they were so out of pocket. I mean, he was saying it, you weren't saying it. This man said, first of all, as soon as I walked out the door of my apartment, he said, Assalamu alaikum to me. He had a nice clean fit on. He looked like a sane individual. I thought he saw a hijab. He wanted to say, Assalamu alaikum. I said, alaikum salam. I decided to just keep going on about my fucking day. This nigga completely stops, turns around and starts approaching me and talking to me saying like, I don't even remember what the fuck it was he was saying. He starts talking to me and I'm looking at him like, I thought you were just going to say that I'm like, why are you holding a conversation with me right now? Then this, this random, like, I hate saying it, but it was a crackhead. <laughs> it was a crackhead. It was a crackhead. This bitch comes running at him, puts her finger in his face right here and starts yelling at him in Spanish. This nigga turns around with a quickness and starts yelling back at her in Spanish. He, I was looking at him like, I was like, wait, what is happening? Mind you, this is a black man. I'm looking at him like, wait, 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 what the fuck is going on right now? And so I took that as an opportunity to try to walk away. I start crossing the street. This man starts crossing the street with me. And I'm like, that was an invitation for you to come with me. Where, where, where are we going right now? What are you, where are we going right now? He's just walking with me and saying like, um, yeah, I know, like I have multiple Muslim wives and all of my wives are Muslim actually. Um, I can tell you're Sunni because you do have um, abaya on and so I know that makes you Arab. My he's pointing at my hijab. This is a hijab. He called it an abaya. Abaya is the black dress that Muslims wear. What the f- You actually don't know what you're talking about right now. And he said, that's how I know you're Arab because you are wearing a black abaya and I know when women wear black abayas that means they grew up in a very strict household and I was like, He's just, yeah, he's just chibber And I, I said, I'm not Arab. He was like, but you're Sunni though. And I said, yes. He was like, so yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. No, Sunni and Arab are two different things. That's not the same thing. Sunni is a type of Muslim. Arab is literally an ethnicity. I'm not Arab. That's and what I'm guys, trying to tell you right now. Mind you, she's been out of the house for like three minutes. Max. This conversation has happened in a three minute span. I'm literally and you know what the only thing is? I would have been ended the conversation if it wasn't for the fact that he saw the apartment I came out of. And now if I just completely shut you down and walk away from you, what are you going to do? Follow me into my apartment? I just wanted to be nice to him, let him get his thoughts out. All right, good. It was nice to meet you and then go about my fucking day. He just keeps fucking going. And then he was like, um, don't tell anybody, but I am Asian. And then I'm looking at him. He looks clearly half Asian. And I said, I could tell. And he was like, yeah, yeah. my mom is a tiny um, Asian woman. She is five feet two, but she has a Scottish last name and red hair because her mom was sexually assaulted by a French man. And I said, and guys, three minutes. Maybe we're at five minute five at this point. I'm listening to it and I'm conversing. I kept inter interrupting the conversation and saying, Layla, I can't find the blue. Can you please come back so I can find it? Layla's like, yeah, I gotta, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just, him. So ninjas do exist. And I am one. And I am one, believe it or not, they are ninjas. I literally said, and, and Layla, and then, and then, Layla the glue, Layla, I need the glue, Layla, I need the glue so bad. And he goes, I actually did recently find out that my grandpa is a Nazi. What? the fuck are we talking about right now can you please and then i said yeah i'm i'm just um she she needs to find the glue i'm just gonna go and he was like, all right it was nice to meet you no nice and then he said something about because you said you're gonna i said Layla, are you i thought you're gonna because you said you're gonna kill yeah and he's like my mom does deliver vegetables, vegetables. so if you ever do need that let me know <laughs> like bro and i promise you this man was talking at her not with her at her i'm just standing like, at him like this he's just talking and i'm just like yeah yeah, I guys, when I tell you Los Angeles, it's I I've been seeing so many TikToks of people talking about how Los Angeles how Los Angeles is hell, like it's actually hell, and how they like feel. Like remember how you said you went back up to the crib the other day and it was feeling hellish. Yeah. People are talking about how Hollywood, Hollywood feels. People are saying how Hollywood feels hellish, and I they're making uh, there's a whole video thread of people talking about how it's hellish and how all their experiences. The vibes, they, guys. They're not we used wrong. to live in the Hollywood Hills because that's where the TikTok house that we lived in was at. I went back the other day because I just wanted to show my friend where we used to live. On our way there, I'm like, what are these fucking vibes? What are these vibes that I'm getting right now? Like, I actually, it's my entire cool. body, like, got cold. I was like, yeah, we could turn this car around and we can go back home, actually. Yeah. Tired. I'm literally getting goosebumps right now. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. I was like, oh, you can actually take me back home. <laughs> I don't even know what I actually take me <laughs> I literally, I, I don't even want to know you. I was like, I, what is going on? What is this? What is this? I literally said, I literally 
saw this girl who said that she was riding an Uber up the Hollywood Hills, uh-huh. and then um, a lady, like a lady, stopped the like started banging on their window. They stopped the car, and the lady started banging on the window, screaming like for help. And she said she sat in the car and did not move, and the Uber driver like got off the car to come and help the lady. The Uber driver got off the car. And there was no one standing there. And I promise you, where we live right now and where we lived before, yeah. the uh, last one, that would have never happened. Mm-mm. Hollywood? Hollywood? Don't say it three times now. Yeah. Middle ones. Middle that ones. place is definitely the devil's home. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so bad, guys. And we had to live there for six months. So long. And I remember, like, living there, bro, I used to get, like, the, I used to have the weirdest dreams. I just used to feel like I was so sad. Like, I felt like my life was being drained from me. I was like, this is, like... This isn't very fun. But this isn't, this isn't like, um, Stir- what is that movie called? <laughs> the old Sterling Knight in it. <laughs> um, Something about the sunshine. This is not what that is. And I promise you, that whole thing was not de- depressing. It was depressing because it is of the vibe that Hollywood is. The devil, it is the devil's work. Yeah. Shop. And all the Scientology buildings there are near Hollywood. They're all in Hollywood, bro. Like, it's all thi- like it's all a thing. That shit is some scary ass shit. Literally, we didn't even get two minutes up that hill, and I was like, You wanna, you wanna take, you wanna go back home, actually? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't go all the way up. I couldn't. Stacey, I'm you know so when, you know when you're going into that area and you go turn this way and it's two roads that way, and then it's like all that windy ass road? Mm-hmm. We got up that first turn, I was like, I actually don't do this anymore. I actually gonna go home. I'm so bad. Um, turned we turned around. You know what's crazy? I was driving. Oh bitch. And I was I was like trying to like I was like I was gonna start a gym. They're just like I'm gonna a gym. I'm just I'm not gonna let this get to you because once you let that shit get to you, that's when they can play with your fucking head. I'm not gonna let that shit get in my head. I was gonna start a gym. I'll keep fucking going. I got spit back out. Like I was like back on the exit. Like I was like I took a wrong turn or some shit. Mind you, I've driven up that fucking place so many damn times. I took a wrong turn and I was like, oh, we're actually out of where we're supposed to be. Right. And that is great. Rightfully Let's so. just call it a dub. Let's just go home. Rightfully so. When I realized I took a wrong turn and we were back onto the street, I was like, it's such a hell of a Thank you so much. It's so that scary. scary. It's so scary here, bro. I don't know what it is about this place. I mean, like, I think it's like a bunch of people move here to make it. Mm-hmm. I don't know I what it is. Lose their soul. So many people sell their soul. Like, it's just, yeah, it's so scary. It, all yeah, it felt like everybody in the Hollywood Hills, it's just people just roaming. There's nothing inside of them. Mm-hmm. That's what it feels yeah. like. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's literally what it feels like. Oh my gosh. You know what's actually scary? I used to hike. No, that's crazy. And there's this big, like, canyon called Reunion Canyon. I used to hike there and used to ride your bike by yourself. You know how much crazy f- shit could happen? Mm-hmm. We were always by ourselves doing things. Bro, walking by myself, I can't even, knowing what I know now, I cannot step foot out of that house. I don't even want to ever be <coughs> in those hills again in my life. Ever, 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 ever. Like if I get invited to an event and I put the address in and I realize we're heading towards the hills, I'm turning my Uber around. Yeah. Oh my God, we're still in there. We lived there for Guys, so long. I, we literally, I could see the Hollywood sign from our rooms. Mm-hmm. Remember so one time? Scary. Please don't. No. It's scary. It's something that happened in the house. Okay. One time we were all sleeping, and some of our friends were sleeping over at the house with us, and so they were sleeping downstairs on the couch and the beanbags and shit. And then one of the girls woke up, and there was a man at the door, like, kind of coming inside, mm-hmm. and he was just staring at her. Like, just yeah, staring at her hard as fuck. And she, like, yelled, and he, like, stepped back out the house. And like, we saw him on the camera, and for so long he was sitting outside of our house just staring. Not moving, nothing. He was just like, sitting on our bench, just like... What? Like, soulless people. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's, that shit scared me. That shit scared me, because I, I was on the first floor. Mm-hmm. And you bitches was living upstairs, off the ground. And I was like, yo, these bitches, I know I'm the tallest bitch, but I'm not a nigga. Why am I oh, why am I on the ground with the fucking niggas? Why am I on the ground? Like, no. That is, it, the place is definitely scary. And I feel like it's even more so like that at nighttime. Like, I feel like if I went during the day, maybe I'd be slightly okay. I'd still be a little bit uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. But at nighttime, it's like, it's bad. Even the, the people who moved in there after us, the Casa. They said they were experiencing some mm-hmm. paranormal They got it worse. The they got it worse. I think, I think because we, I don't know. We, I don't know why we didn't get that much bad things. But they said they were experiencing some paranormal, paranormal ash in that mm-hmm. house. But at one time, one of them was live. Doing, 
Ouija board. Yeah, one of them was doing Ouija board in the house. That's probably what like started it. But one of them was on live one day and he literally heard somebody saying, hey, hey, while he was in the room. And he's looking around and there's nobody in the room with him. And he keeps hearing, hey, hey, in the room. Why is on live? And he's asking the live, do you guys hear this? And they're saying like, we literally hear that. What is that? Where's that coming from? Guys. Huh? Huh? What? I can't. I rebuke Me? I can't. Name. I rebuke. I cannot, I can't even, I can't imagine that for six months our parents, like that, that that's where our parents knew we were living. Like, our, like we had parents, we have family that loved us, but we're sleeping in the devil's house for six months. Uh, terrible. God, we're delivered. Terrible. Delivered. Delivered. Have you ever heard that? Delivered. You know, no? I think you're singing the same song I'm singing. Oh, I am? I think so. <laughs> I've heard it on TikTok before. Um, we're low-key. Out an hour. Really? We talked yeah. that much? The last, the, last, the last video was 45 minutes and this one is, uh, what, 18? Oh, should we... That's it? Should we just do Do you want to do another one? One more? I think everything else I have right now is really, like, serious. It's not, like, funny. Mm. I wanted to talk about... Where is it? Damn, is it not written in here? Uh, I don't think I have it written in here. But I want to talk about... We could just save that for another video. I'm going to write it down for the next podcast. Okay. Guys, that is all that we have for today. It is currently 2 o'clock in the blood clot morning. Um, we're going to go to bed now. It was nice talking to you guys. Um, we're talking at you guys. Make sure you guys <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell down below. to get the notification whenever we post. Because you know you like it when you see that notification when mm -hmm. it pulls. We know it sends a tickle down your backbone. What's up? I'm gonna see you in the next time in the next video. Adios. Have a nice day and a nice night. These are my flowers. Don't forget. Adios. <laughs>